The Kingdom of Yama. From the outside, as we saw in Akeldama, we might imagine the netherworld and its inhabitants as a chaotic and disordered mass of suffering. But really, from the inside, hell is a very orderly and lawful place indeed. The order it embodies appears in this Nepalese painting as a series of linear pathways and quadrangular enclosures. These forms are visual analogs for the orderly law they express, the inexorable balance between one's duty, or dharma, and one's actions, or karma. This process is relentlessly impartial, sama varta in Sanskrit, just as its king Yama is similarly impartial. Yama himself sits in a small blue form at the top left of the painting's central quadrangle, and he is the lord of hell, some of whose different forms we'll explore in the next section of the exhibition. Now, to keep everything here fair, Good record-keeping is essential. That is where Yama's minion Chitra Gupta comes in. From his seat in the rightmost enclosure in the painting's central quadrangle, this cosmic accountant keeps a close record of all the actions performed by every person, including the unfortunate demon-guarded deceased before him. This record then becomes the basis for Yama's verdict and the potentially dire, if just, punishments that go with it. Hell's obsessively efficient justice machinery relies on something else familiar from civilization's process of human evaluation, division of labor. Accordingly, on the right side of the painting, a series of linear gateways open onto regions where specialized sorts of torture are carried out. As you can see, each region performs a specific function within the hydraulics of hellish retribution for earthly conduct. Next, in the Lords of Hell, you'll see many forms taken by Yama in his sojourns across Asian tradition. I'll meet you on the other side, if you'll excuse the netherworld joke, when the Lord of Hell is revealed as but one of the citizens of Hell. See you there!